in the morning? <laughs> Will you be there in the morning? Uh -huh. To love me, love me, love me. I don't know about the soul of song and love. See that song, mm -mm -mm. running back to you. Telling me lies, something, 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 believing. You will be a man, not a boy, running from the truth. You're always telling me lies. Still, I can't leave from leaving me wondering. Will you be there? In the morning, uh, will you, okay, who's feeling that way? Will you be there to love me? Mm. Oh, that's Lettucey. I think it's called We Be There. It's either In the Morning by Lettucey, L-E-D-I-S-I. -I. But somebody got you wondering. Will you be there to love me? I'm about to play that song. Holy Spirit, what's going on, guys, right? Somebody's feeling like they want to know if you're going to be there in the morning. They're going to be there in the morning. Maybe, maybe, maybe. You're a very spiritual person, right? Very spiritual. And you're always on this person's mind. Maybe they think you have a spiritual connection. I put you in a situation that you didn't deserve. Why do people figure these things out later, right? They said, I'm not used to a queen, only peasants. So they're not used to someone like you, someone like your caliber, the way you carry yourself, the way that you are. It says, please forgive me. This person is concerned. They want forgiveness. Mm -hmm. You was being deceived by someone when they put you in a different when they put you in a situation you didn't deserve. They they was they deceived you. Mm -hmm. They believe in soulmates, guys. Maybe this person is trying to become more spiritual. Maybe they know that you are spiritual, so they're gonna throw out those spiritual words to make you feel like, ha, huh, I'm connected too. Holy Spirit, what's going on here? You also have some jealous energy around you. I don't know if this person is jealous, but you do have some jealous energy around you. You could be celebrating with loved ones. You could be having some happier times with family and friends. But you're always on somebody's, somebody's mind. And this person is your karmic. So you probably know who this person is. Every couple months they come back you know, with something new, right? <laughs> something new. This person could also be a threatened by an ex. So that could be the jealous energy. Their ex could be jealous of you. Their ex could be jealous of them. They're trying to come back to you. This person is your karmic because they come with mess. You know, sometimes a karmic can be an extension of someone else. Because what happens is if, if people are still connected to their ex, and their ex is just an a-hole and they do mean things they do bad things they call the person they play on the phone they do this and this and that um that's your karmic too because they allow it so the only way you can get that reflux of mess is is because they're still attached to it you know what i mean so some people don't know how to separate divide and be done with people they let karmic stuff come back because they're still in that low vibrational energy themselves some people let it back in. Give this person a box and the rope, guys. You already know what my metaphor is with this. If this is your first time and you've never heard it. The box and the rope is what I do is upon entry in my life, I give you an invisible box and an invisible rope. You don't see it. I do, right? And basically what I do is I give you the rope first and I let people be who they are. So if you treat me bad, nasty, lie, sneak, cheat, blah 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 da 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 whatever the rope just kind of unravels right 
And then eventually when they do just a little too much, it kind of pops. And they're at the end of the rope. And then just kindly slide that box up under there and put them in the box. And you're done. That's my metaphor because, see, I don't try to change people. I don't try to make you be who you're not. I don't want you to, to align up with me and got to do what I do or you got to live this way or you got to dress a certain way or you got to look a certain way. I would never. I would never. I just don't want a drunk or a drug addict. Can you have wine, whatever, and have a drink or two? By all means. Can you drink beer? Yes. But if you got to wake up to beer, wake up to the alcohol, wake up to the drugs, or your marijuana, I don't mind you smoking marijuana, that's a problem. That's an addict to me, right? So, no. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Give them the box and the rope. Give them the box and the rope. You gave them enough, right? You gave them enough and too much stinks. What else, there? This person could be boring and selfish. You're getting prosperity from hard work and your determination. So whatever you're doing, you, you don't give up. You keep going. Look at this. My life is in shambles. Of course it is. And another thing too, guys, sometimes, like say you've been looking for a person, chasing a person, wondering where they are and this and that, and they're out there living their best life, right? And they wasn't giving you the time of day, right? But as minute hell freezes over on them they come running back have y'all noticed that in the readings when something hard hits when they have towers in their life they've been cheated on they've been this they've been that they've been this now they're coming back to you now but if all those things didn't happen would they be coming back to you it's always something to think about guys it really really is like why are you coming back like what do you want from me you didn't want me before when you was hanging out you know with, with Kiki, you know. So they've been threatened by exes and all this stuff. They put you in a situation. They also put their ex in a situation that they didn't deserve as well. They're not used to a queen. They see you as queen energy. They're calling everyone else peasants, right? You'll be a peasant too if you, if you really date them. If you really date them and leave them, then you'll become a peasant as well. All right, guys. This person doesn't want what they're being offered right now. They have this brand new page. And they're wondering what they're going to do with it. They, they want to come see you. They want to fix things. They want justice. You could be a queen of pentacles. You turned your back on them. You're a queen of pentacles in reverse. So you got your money and everything. You just don't take no mess. You just don't take no mess. So they want to come back and fix it with this queen here. They're giving up on something, guys. Whatever they were in, they felt like they could have rushed into a connection. Maybe they rushed into a connection with you without thinking. And now they're in their head because they want to know how can they fix this. And they're having a hard time fixing it because there's a queen of swords in reverse right here. This is a jealous, nasty, mean biachi, right? She, she's pissed. That's a problem. So... They don't want this person to go forward. This person knows about you because they're right on your tail. They know about you, apparently. That's why they're being threatened. Who knows what this person is saying? So this person needs to sneak back into your life. They want to come and tell you their truth, but they're up in their head about it because they dipped off and did what they did. Now they want to dip back, but they got to sneak back to you the same way that they snuck to you before. Don't sneak. Clean your plate. Eat up right then come back clean your plate but they want to come and tell you some truth they realize you're the gift that keeps on giving you're the ace of pentacles you're everything you're abundant you're their new beginning you're their happy place you're whoo this is judgment here right this is judgment everybody's coming out of the casket it's just like look so this person wants you back they're not they didn't follow their intuition on what they did they realize that they didn't follow their intuition. This person just wants to be happy. You're their happy place. You're the sun. They want to be happy, but they need to come and tell you their truth. This person has a lot of secrets. Spirit, clarify this queen of swords in reverse. Who are you, baby? Mm-hmm. 
Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, they offered love to this person. Hmm. They offered love to this person and then they took it from them because of you. Yep. So that's why that person is pissed because they offered love to them and then took it from them. Spirit, clarify this four cups in reverse. This person is not happy with the offers that they're getting and you've turned your back on them. Yep, Queen of Wands in reverse. They don't want that offer. <laughs> they don't want it. Holy Spirit, clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. They're healing. The Queen could be healing. You heal from this mess and you released yourself from the devil. I told you. That person wants the devil. You released yourself. You don't want nothing to do with that past. This is not your Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is in reverse. You know you chose wrong. And you are going back to something else. Look at that. Keep keep coming, cards. Keep coming. Two of Cups. You walked away from that person. And the reason why you walked away from them is because they played you. They did. They did. They juggled you. They played you. And now look at this. They want to come back. Death card in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. They had time to think about it. They coming up out of Hermit. Mm -hmm. This is a King of Pentacles in reverse. This is a sneaky person. Page of Swords in reverse. You're their star. You're their wish fulfillment. They're hopeful for you, right? But I don't think you're going to give them this new beginning with this Ace of Wands in reverse. Nor with the Fool card. You're not doing this again. You're not doing this again, guys. That was a quick reading. You're not, uh, uh Ten of Pentacles in reverse. They're not getting it. They're not getting it. Nope. They're going to come in as the King of Cups, come in talking all that lovey-dovey stuff. But this is really a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. They ain't got nothing for you. They ain't got nothing for you, man. Okay? They don't. They unreliable. Don't believe in it, guys. Let me tell you something about relationships. And th this is what I don't like. Say you met a person, right? And life happens. And you date other people. They date other people. Blah, 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 blah. Life goes on. Yada, yada, yada. Five years, ten years, eight years pass. Whatever. Y'all run back into each other again. For whatever reason, both of you are single, right? But both of you kind of held on to each other for years thinking, oh, if we ever be single, we're going to make it work. Blah, 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 blah. Right? So now you're both single. Y'all get together. They don't make the effort or you don't make the effort. And then you go back to your position. Guys, let it go. Because if ever you get to point, to the point where they're not divorced or married or, or they're single, this and that, and you're single, and da, 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 and y'all get that opportunity and it doesn't work, stop pining over that person. Because if they really want you, they'll reach out. And I'm not saying ladies reach out because no, they always tell them women to be women. So guess what? Women are being women. So we're sitting back and we're waiting on you to make the call. But the men in today's world, they never make the call. They just sit They just sit back as if you're going to call. And if you're a woman of worth, you're not calling or texting. They need to present themselves to you. They're the men. They're the man. They need to approach you, especially if you've already done that, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. You already put yourself out there. You already told them how you felt. If they're not answering the call, guess what? Stop sending them those energies. Definitely don't call or text. And men, if there's someone out there you're thinking about and you're wondering what Susie Chapstick is doing, call Susie. Call her. Ask her. What's up, Susie? What's up? Hey, John. That's easy to me. Really easy. Then y'all can establish from there, hey, are we done done? Or are we still friends? Can we, is there a chance in hell? No, like what? Is there snow in hell? Like what's going on? Can we do anything? Susie will tell you. She'll be like, you know what, John? I thought about it. I just don't think we're just meant to be. Blah, 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 blah. And then there you go. Both of y'all can zap those energies. It's real easy. It's a phone call. Guys, don't let nobody play on your feelings. Don't. Let's keep going. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. My birthday's next week. Is it next week? No. <laughs> it's the week after. It's the 20th, guys. Go ahead and send me something. My P.O. box is below. Or you can click on my birthday link. I have a birthday link, guys. Send me some cards.
Send me something. I got like two decks of cards and some charms from Pandora. So go ahead and do it.